What up, guys? Kevin here. So, I played 45 minutes of The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, put my thoughts up on my community feed. I was like, I want to make a video, but eh, I want to quickly get to uh, playing some Final Fantasy XIV before I go to work. And then immediately I get all these responses like, hey, make a video on this, make a video on this. I've never got that much like, hey, hey, bitch, go make a video. Um, so shout out to y'all. Y'all the best. So let's do it. Let's trash Tears of the Kingdom in video form. And I know I've trashed The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom before launch. It's just the hype, the 10 out of 10s. And I've said it all, over and over, like, I'm going to be playing Tears of the Kingdom at launch. There's just not a day where Zelda launches and I'm not playing it. That just doesn't happen unless it's like one of those little offshoot games. Um, no difference here with Tears of the Kingdom. The next game, eh, I might give it a pass. However, I think we'll be on the next console. And I think we're going to get away from this whole breath of the degrading weapons. And just, what the hell did I just play, guys? What did I just play? Oh, my God. Um, I really do hope people see this. If you're looking at Tears of the Kingdom and you go, mm, I don't think that's going to work with me. It's not. It really isn't. Um, after 45 minutes, so the first like 15 when you're with Zelda and you're uh, spelunking down in some ruins and looking at murals. Link, Link, look at the murals. Oh, Link, you're going to have to save me. Maybe I'll let you touch my booby. Seriously, her voice actress, it's Zelda, and she sounds weird. <laughs> her voice had nothing against her voice actress. I'm sure she's fine on other characters, but Zelda? I don't want some, like, dainty, you know, Cali girl princess sounding motherfucker, but holy crap. <laughs> It's like if uh, Adele had to uh, voice a character. People like, I mean, people like Adele's voice, but even her, her voice sounds fat. Like, her voice sounds fat. Adele's voice sounds fat. Hey, she's not fat anymore. Good on her. But, all right. If I'm not going to get canceled uh, with hating on Tears of the Kingdom, that's going to get me canceled. Whatever. Let's do it. Um, great, great opening, great intro. I was like, man, dude, I really trash this game. And this intro is hitting for me really, really hard. Really hard. Way better than Breath of the Wild where you just wake up and you go out into the barren open world. Um, now, you start off with Link, full stamina, two full rows of hearts. I'm like, oh, this is new. Because you know how it works. You start with three stars and... It's never like a stamina thing to begin with, but now there is. Um, and then an event happens. Pretty cool event. Like, it looked really cool. I'm like, yes, this is my Zelda. This is my Zelda. This is what I want. Just really cool, just that legend. What does uh, Skill Up say? That legendness. That legend is there. I'm like, yes, yes. Um, but. You know, like, like we all hate games where you're like, all right, I was just super powerful before, and then I lose all my weapons, armor, whatever. It happens here, but there's the way they do it. <laughs> you're, spoiler alert, spoiler alert for the first, what, 10 minutes of the game. Your master sword gets just disintegrated, just breaks. And you lose that. And then, <laughs> as, like, you're getting getting effed up by the the dude, the zombie bro, <laughs> the mummy bro, um, you watch your hearts deplete. It goes, bloop, 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 and then you lose your stamina. And then shit happens. And then you wake up, three hearts, no stamina. <laughs> and you enter that piss-soaked, pee-filtered world that is... Tears of the Kingdom, a.k.a. Breath of the Wild. I was like, yep, this is Breath of the Wild. And then you go do your stupid ass, oh, we all love Fortnite and uh, uh, jumping out of planes and shit, so let's do that here. That's really going to get the Fortnite crowd. 
It's just so effed out. Like, I'm just tired of seeing it. But, hey, we're going aerial in Tears of the Kingdom, so can't complain too much about it. But I'm just like, okay, I, I see what they're doing here. I see what they're doing. Um, pretty cool little intro, though, as you're, like, falling down and they show the, the title. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then you land... And then I'm like, I'm like looking around. I'm like, yeah, I'm in a new area. This definitely feels new. But it just looks like Breath of the Wild. And did I say it looked like piss? It looked like the world got pissed on. Just that yellow, just yellow and brown everywhere. I'm like, ugh, ugh, ugh. And I'm thinking like, people said they, it took 70 hours to beat and they barely scratched the surface. So I'm going to spend at least 70 hours in this game. I don't think that's happening. And then you go through the tutorial part. You pick up. <laughs> if you guys. I, there's something like Nintendo bozos. are like, oh, the weapon degradation isn't that bad. It's, they, they fixed it. They fixed it. Sh shit was bad, dude. Shit was bad. I, you pick up, um, what, like a twig or something. You fight your first enemy. You can't even kill the enemy <laughs> with it. You can't. Uh, at least when it breaks, it knocks it back and it drops its weapon. You pick that up and then you can finish it off. The weapon degradation is awful. Awful. And the combat hasn't changed, I think, ever. <laughs> the combat is so basic. So basic. What did I see? What game came out? Ravenlock. Ravenlock got shit on. Shit on. And people were complaining about it because of the combat. But the combat here in Tears of the Kingdom, the 18 millionth uh, Zelda game, they couldn't bother to do anything about it. Besides, huh, what if we add a mechanic where your weapons degrade? Oh, that'll work. And I guess later on you could, you know, put a rock on a stick and stuff. And I, I don't know. I guess that makes it a little bit better. But um, that goes to my, another, my next issue. If you like playing in menus, you'll love this game. You'll love this game. Like, I was just in the tutorial part, and I just found myself stopping and going through the menu to select my next weapon and whatnot. I hate that. I want fluid gameplay. Now, oh, let me stop for a minute and uh, during the middle of combat to select my next weapon. And you know how I select my weapons. I'm not choosing my strongest weapon. Oh, I might need that for later. No, I'm choosing the next tree branch that's going to break in another two hits and not even finish off the enemy. Um, so, but hey, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Then, you know, I, I meet the dude who gave me his arm and he's like, oh, you need to go in there, but you're not p powerful enough. Go to the shrines. It's the same damn opening as <laughs> Breath of the Wild. So I make it to the first shrine and I didn't think they were going to have these in this game, but it's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing like Breath of the Wild. They look a little bit different. Look like a testicle. Um, that you enter into. And it's the, you know, you put shit, you Ikea shit together. That's what I would say. You would Ikea um, just stuff together. There's just a few gaps you got to get across. Take a couple planks, and then the last one, you got to take the hook, put it on the zip line thing, and you got to attach it to that plank so you can stand on it, and you just glide down. I mean, that part is cool when you're, on it and you're gliding down you're like wee um but putting it together was i, I want to give them credit that i just did not see that system being very um <laughs> very fun to begin with and it wasn't but i think they they did the best they could but it was just like um just tilting everything and making sure i'm lining everything up it was just super annoying. And I know Zelda's always been a puzzler where you're kind of standing there and thinking things out. That was just Ikea levels of putting shit together annoyance. And I I don't want to do a whole game with that. I just don't. I just don't. Now, I've watched some people play and they're doing stuff, putting stuff together. And they look like they're absolutely having a blast. I'm not taking that away from them, but there's going to be a good portion of people like me who just don't want to do that in a Zelda game. I don't want to do that. I just don't. I don't get any satisfaction of building shit together. I do that in real life. 
it don't get me off in video games. It just doesn't. Um, but um, got through it. Then I, <laughs> as soon as I got out and I entered that piss-soaked sub-30 FPS world, if this game was on anything else, this was a PlayStation or uh, Xbox game, a PC game, it would, oh my God, it would be broken. People would be calling it for it to be delayed. Um, people may even be calling for the heads of the studio to be fired. But no, Nintendo, it's uh, 10 out of 10. Was it 96 Metacritic score? Which I guessed. And to me at that point, when I'm th- I was thinking, I'm like, there's no way that everyone who gave this a perfect score even likes this game. It's just impossible. It's just impossible. Now, if there wasn't any hype or anything about, oh my God, it's Zelda, this would just be a game I play and go, eh, okay, eh, not for me. But since it is Zelda, and since I have a history with this franchise, again, it's the only game I look at and go, that looks like absolute shit garbage and still buy it day one, just to try it out because it's Zelda. Um, but yeah, I regret that. As soon as I... Uh, walk back into the open world, that piss soaked, um, blurry, just so blurry and hazy. I'm like, and I'm playing on my beautiful OLED TV, and I'm like, oh, maybe it'll look beautiful on my OLED <laughs> handheld. Uh, no, no, and I, I see a beautiful world in here. It's just, was it sub 1080p? <laughs> Is it even 1080p? I don't think 1080p looks that bad. Um, Maybe maybe the next switch or next device, and um, they get a re- this game's gonna get a remaster. It just is. Maybe I would try it again there. Hopefully they'll have backwards compatibility or give a free upgrade. But wow, I just after playing a couple more minutes after that shrine, I'm just like I can't do it. I just can't do it. And it just feels exactly the same as Breath of the Wild, exactly the same as Breath of the Wild, which I did play through. I did enjoy it. That was just a one and done situation for me. I just don't want to do it again. I just don't want to do it again. I don't. Um, Link being a silent protagonist. Any other game, if we have a character like Link, where it's not like full um, choose your own dialogue type um, silent protagonist, those would get a pass. But even then... Here, it's just, Link is a nothing. He's nothing. There's nothing really redeemable about him. There just really isn't. He's just there. He's just there to save the world again. And what does he get for it? (laughs) A lot of pain, torture, comas. Is is there a scene where, like, Zelda, I don't know, gives him a kiss or give it up or anything like that? (laughs) Even then, like, it's, it's it's the opposite of, like, toxic masculinity, even though he, he is somebody you would strive to be just doing his job. I appreciate that. But at a certain point, Link, you got to get yours. You got to get yours. And I think having a voice Link to hear his thoughts, I'd, I'd much rather have an Link be like Aloy where he's talking to himself and solving the pr- puzzles um, before I can even get to the damn puzzle, I'd rather have that as Link than just this silent mute boy. Like, he gave Zelda an ugly voice. An ugly, huh, Link, save me again. Do it for Link. Give something. Give, I don't care. Get Screech or, um, uh, Gilbert Gottfried. I mean, they're both dead, but I don't care. I want to hear the boy. It's time. It's time. You guys are going to do a movie. They're absolutely going to do a Zelda movie. Link's going to be silent in the movie as well? No. You guys are going to get uh, Chris Pratt to do the voice. And we're all going to love it anyways. Um, There you have it. Yeah. So I'm done. I'm thinking, what am I going to do next for the Switch? There's nothing left for the Switch. I think I'm going to sell it. I think I can get like 150 credit at GameStop. Um, I'm going to buy Trails of Azure on PC, but then I remember I still have 
uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Future Redeemed. And even when I was playing that like a couple weeks ago, um, the graphics are just too dated, you know? I just hit that point where I just can't do it with Nintendo Switch graphics anymore. Um, so I just wouldn't be surprised if I end up selling my Switch this weekend. But right now, Tears of the Kingdom is its just unplayable for me. I don't even want to score it. It's just unplayable. I'm seeing tweet after tweet after tweet after tweet every day going, oh man, the the Star Wars game is uh, fantastic, but I'm going to have to wait till it's working. This game is broken. I need a few more patches. Yeah, I'm going to need a few more patches on Tears of the Kingdom. The game looks and runs like poop. It just does. It just does. And the camera, um, I don't know what you call it, just moves really slow just because it's 30 FPS. I noticed that in the beginning. I'm like, I can't really look around real quick. Move around real quick. Oh, yeah, because it's 30 FPS and you want to try to make it as smooth as possible. Um, maybe you can adjust that in the settings, but... Yeah, right now I'm just done with Tears of the Kingdom. I'm just done with the Switch. Um, yeah, Tears of the Kingdom. I'm giving it a score of unplayable out of 10. And even if it is playable, I'm just not going to like it. I'm just not going to like it. Just the amount of time you spend sitting in menus and just switching over to other weapons. It's just, that ain't fun. That's not fun. If it's fun for you, if it's genuinely fun, have at it. Um, but don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to yourself. There's nothing special about this game. There is nothing special about this game. Unless you're an absolute diehard fan and love Breath of the Wild, then it's special for you. If it's not, you don't need to buy into the hype, the 10 out of 10s. This game, if it wasn't reviewed by Zelda diehards, would probably be sitting at like an 83. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for begging me to come make this video. I had a lot of fun and I'll talk to you later. Later.